Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through some of the advanced configuration of WP Rocket. To get started you need to jump into your dashboard and then head down to settings and WP Rocket. Once that loads up we need to click on the advanced options tab and then we can get started. The first setting we can configure here is the ability to prefetch DNS requests. Basically, when your site's actually being loaded, the browser will actually need to find uh, whereabouts on the internet various resources live. So you can make that a bit easier by telling it to prefetch uh, the IP address uh, of those resources. And as you can see here, I've just put in slash slash fonts.googleapis.com because that's a very, very common resource used these days. You know, many, many WordPress themes are using Google fonts. So by putting this in, you can definitely speed up the loading time of your website. Next up, we can choose to empty the cache of the following pages when updating a post. So what you can do here is put in a URL. So for this one, we might choose something like this, uh, which is just the domain that this WordPress installation uh, is currently living on. And so we want to empty the cache of the page that lives at test. We can do that really, really easily. Then again, after this, we find ourselves to have the option to never cache the following pages. And maybe you'd want to take that approach to it instead, uh, just by putting the URL there. With both of these, you can use regular expressions. Uh, we're not going to show you how to use those today uh, because they can be quite confusing and complicated if they're something you've never really come across before. But if you're comfortable with regex, you can do this to have greater flexibility and control over those pages. As we move on down, if there is a page that uses a particular cookie, you can choose not to actually cache that page. We'll just call it test cookie. Uh, this isn't one that exists, but that's a, you know an example. You just put in the name of it there. The next option we have is to cache pages that use the following query strings uh, with get parameters being what we can use in there. We're not going to go into this one uh, at this time because it is slightly more advanced in terms of usage. But of course, if you're familiar with the various query strings uh, that WordPress is passing and there are certain ones you would actually like to have cached, you can set that up there. Next, we come down to CSS files to exclude from minification. And in here, what you need to do is put in the URL of any CSS files that you would like to not be minified. Uh, I've just put in an example here. So you've got the domain name, WP content, themes, uh, the theme name, and then just a file name I've just come up with now called my started CSS. Uh, and similarly, you can do this as well with JavaScript. So it might be called myjs.js uh, and then that won't actually be minified when WP Rocket goes through and performs uh, its various work. Uh, we've got a few more JavaScript options here. You can see uh, JavaScript files to be included in the footer during the minification process. So if there are any JavaScript files that you would like to be loaded in the footer uh, of your website, you can just simply put in the name of that file there and click on add URL. And then just below this, we can specify JavaScript files with deferred loading. So again, we could put that in there uh, and you can also check wait till the file is loaded. If you do indeed want to wait until the file is loaded and when you're done there, you can just hit save changes. And that brings us to the end of configuring the advanced options in WP Rocket. Hopefully it's given you a bit more of an idea of what you can achieve with the plugin. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more.